welcome back to Anne Marie Sews. I'm here today with another unboxing. This morning my So Holy Jane arrived. So let's see what is inside. Right, as usual, it's wrapped in the lovely yellow tissue paper, nice and bright. And this one's managed to stay nice and neat and tidy in here. It looks a very full box this week. Let's have a look. Oh, so the theme is spots and dots. Oh, and the sweet treat, I love these, is jazzies i love them one of my favorite right i'm going to open the box and then we'll have a look at the magazine afterwards so we have got an invisible zipper in gray which may or may not give you a clue as to the color of the fabric and then the fat quarters this month we've got this lovely uh, dotty fabric. Is it a Dalmatian print maybe? Anyway, there's that one. Um, then we've got this one, which is a bit like a giraffe print. More like pebbles maybe. Like crazy paving. Yeah, that's what that reminds me of. It reminds me of crazy paving. And then we've got this one, which is more like it's the patterns made of splodges of various shapes. They're kind of quadrilateral type shapes. Although some of them are quite rounded with these stripes in them. That's pretty. That's not going to show up very well on the camera, I don't think, though. But that's a very pretty one. It's, they're all black and white um, themed. Very nice. Right, so then we've got the Gutemann thread, which will give you a bit of a clue as to the colour. That's coming up quite bright, actually. It's not quite as bright as that. It's colour 716. And then... double gauze that has got these gold dots on it. Open that up so you can see. So it's double purple double gauze and then it's got these um, metallic looking gold dots on them which I think is like a um, like painted on like it's like a glue it's they're raised I've got some of this fabric in a greeny tealy colour but I've actually just thinking about it I have also already made a top with some of this fabric in this colour as well um so double gauze I actually find quite difficult to know what to make with it because to me it just the fabric just reminds me of pajamas so that bearing that in mind i do think that this is going to end up being some sort of nightwear um i'm not sure if i've got any scraps left over from the top i made actually because if i did that would be quite handy wouldn't it and i could make like a top and shorts but Yes, I think it's going to be some sort of pyjamas. Um, I have recently made with one of my old Hayley Jane boxes, I had some purple double gauze that had got a butterfly print on it. I recently made some pyjamas, pyjama trousers with that. And I was going to make a top to go with it, but I'm not sure if I've got enough fabric left over. And I think it's the same colour purple. I think it's the same shade. I'll have to check when they're out of the wash. But... If they are the same shade, then maybe this can be the top to go with it. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably going to become pyjamas. 
because I just find double gauze that's it just reminds me of pajamas I can't get that out of my head I did once make a really nice um dress but I just it just reminded me of a night dress so um yeah I think some sort of pajamas um so yeah lovely box I I do really like this fabric it's just um it will be pajamas don't know how many times I'm gonna say that so really like that the fat quarters this month are really nice um, and obviously the zip goes better with the, I'm just going to put that there for a moment, the zip goes better with the fat quarters. Right, so let's see what um, people have done in the magazine. Um, so we've got an interview with the Lemon Patch, who makes some very bright coloured labels. So I think that they have gone into the um, classic and the luxury um, box. So that's some of the lemon patch labels there. And then we've got the make of the month um, from Siobhan, who's made the Saguaro set um, using the linen from April. A really nice set actually like that one nice for this hot weather and then three boxes three makes esther has got the classic box so she's also got the um double gauze and she's made the sabina skirt by the little pomegranate but she's made it in a cropped length so, so i'm sure that the sabina skirt is normally a full length skirt but she's made it so it's just below the knee which is lovely um and i go to a sewing group on monday evenings and one of the ladies there is making the sabina skirt and one of the other ones was talking about doing it as like a few of us do it together and i didn't think i could wear it as like the long lengths don't suit me but actually in the shorter like knee length i think that would be a nice skirt for work so i might make that when one of the others do it as well. And then Gemma's used the double gauze to make the Simplicity Cropped Tie Vest, S8927, which is that one there. That looks really nice, actually. Really nice for this weather. And that's using the mini box, so she's done that with one, one metre. And then Laura has got the luxury box, which is an art gallery uh, cotton fabric. And she's made the Jennifer Lauren Kin Kinfolk, Kinfolk dress. I've heard of that one before. <coughs> oh, and then the Fat Quarter project that um, Tamlin's done is a lanyard. That's a really good idea, I like that. They come in quite handy. Um, oh, that's a really good idea. She says, a lanyard is one of those practical items that everyone can find a use for, whether it's to hold your work pass, your keys, or even your snips whilst you're sewing. Very good idea. Because I'm forever putting mine down. I'm not knowing where else to put them. I like that idea. Oh, she's even managed to sew a label into it. Oh, and then, <coughs> sorry. Then Tamlin's also done a thing on uh, sewing your stash. And so she's um, put some stash busting ideas together. So there's the Sandcastle bucket hat, which is the Waves and Wild hat. Um, then we've got an ironing board cover. Um, Crowning Glory by Waves and Wild, which is like a little party hat. And then she's got the Idexa pouch by Country Cow Designs. Looks like a little makeup bag. And then the Iron Mask by Tilly and the Buttons, which is, um, so I assume they're all three patterns. 
I know the Tilly the Button one is, and I know the, the Sandcastle Bucket hat, hat is. Um, so Haley's Little Link, she's um, got a book there by Matt Haig, The Midnight Library. Um, and then the National Trust Book of Scones. The Book of Scones. Scones, scones. Looks really yummy. I really want to make some scones now. And then she's got sewing so the Maeve skirt because uh which is a link to her YouTube channel because she did a video on that recently. And then her thing for the TV was is Blackbird, which is on Apple TV. Oh and then this is sus subscri I can't say it. The subscriber profile is Becky who I follow on, I subscribe to on um, YouTube. So I'll soon read this properly with a cup of tea later and my jazzies, obviously. Um, and then she's got a hello from my hand wardrobe. So I'm wondering if my hand wardrobe have got a pattern in the luxury box. I'm not going to show you that because it is just a little message from them but it's got a um, discount code on there um, and then the pattern picks um, from the fold line they've got the saguaro set um, this salvi suvi sundress by so house seven i really like the look of that actually it looks really pretty um can be Anything from a swim cover up to a casual summer dress to an elegant evening gown, depending on your fabric choice. Hmm. And then the sunny visor and hat. That looks like it'd be a good one to use with your uh, flat quarters, possibly. I don't know if it's big. If they'd be big enough, actually. Um, and then the makers gallery. We've got. Sam on Facebook has made the Sophia top from the Sew magazine using the um, the viscose from the uh, Blooming Beautiful box. Lisa on Facebook has made a chalk and notch dungaree set using the strawberry fabric. Is that one just there? We've got a sewing bunny has used the linen viscose from the April box um, to make a simplicity jumpsuit. Now I think this is one that she was talking about um, sewing up recently and I, I've got that pattern so I might give that one a go. It does look like a good one. Um, and then Made by Madeline has used some double gauze uh, to make an Ogden cami and Safia trousers as pyjamas and that's using um, I think they were it was uh, double gauze that have got sun print on it and then Kathleen has been keeping her hands very busy turning her fat quarters into this stunning hexagon table runner I do have a lot of uh, fat quarters that I need to use. So there you go, you've got um, what's in the box. So the mini box is the, oh, they've called it Dew Drop, the, this cotton gauze. It's called Dew Drop. Um, three abstract jungle fat quarters, the glitamine thread, a nine inch concealed zip, the magazine and the chocolates. The classic box has got 2.5 meters of the double gauze, um, four abstract jung jungle fat quarters, uh, the concealed zip, the glitamine thread, lemon patch labels, a magazine and the chocolates. And then the luxury box was 3.5 meters of the art gallery fabric cotton, uh, Mosaico Pompeii, five of the abstract jungle fat quarters made my wardrobe amia shirt and 14 inch concealed zip the thread the patches the labels the magazine and the chocolate 
so there we go um so i'm going to go and read this magazine now with my cup of tea and my chocolates whilst i think about what i am going to make so thank you very much for watching my unboxing today and i will be back again soon with another video you never know i might actually do some sewing and have a makes video at some point don't hold your breath <laughs> thank you very much for watching please hit the like and subscribe button and i'll see you again